Hello and welcome to Journey of a Student Nurse. My name is Lee. So welcome to my new vlog series where I'm going to be talking about Asperger's specifically. So if you've seen my previous video where I talked about um, updates with the channel and some of the changes that I'm making this year, one of those changes I'm making this year is I'm separating my Asperger's and nursing vlog out into two separate vlog series. So in this specifically now, I'm going to be talking about Asperger's and my life with Asperger's in this vlog. And it's just to make it a little bit more personal and it's just to take the nursing element out as well. And it's just to allow me to talk more about it in a bit more depth and just keep the two topics separate. So in this vlog series, I'm going to be talking more just about my sort of daily life with, with Asperger's and kind of how... You know, I live with the condition on a daily basis and just share my story a bit more in the coming months, you know, and sort of everything from the utter highs, you know, when I've had a great day or, you know, I've had done something amazing, you know, whether that be in nursing or just in my personal life and to the utter lows where I am in complete sensory overload as well. I've had a really, really bad, you know, day because I've had sensory issues. I want to show that journey as well and kind of show what it's like as well, you know, and I really want to raise awareness of Asperger's and raise the profile of autism as well. And I want just to show that journey, you know, a bit more with it as well. So do stay tuned in the channel to see what I've got planned, you know, with other videos this year. I've got a lot of videos planned in the next few months over Asperger's as well, particularly um, over Autism Awareness Week as well, so stay tuned for that. So another thing that I'm looking to do is, you know, do more blogging as well. So I'm going to probably pop up an Asperger's blog as well, so like a written blog as well to kind of coincide as well. So I've got big plans. To sort of round this video off, I kind of want to uh, talk about um, life recently, you know, how things have been recently. And there have been some things going over the last sort of few months which um, within the family have just have been quite difficult. I won't say specific details, but um, there has been a lot of times when there's been a lot of, you know, lows and there's been a lot of highs and, you know, and these have, you know, been... There have been challenging times, but you know, I've we know I've got through it. But you know, in sort of more recent terms, you know, you know, Asperger's life, you know, daily life, you know, just kind of getting on with it, you know, you know, I've days when I've had complete sensory meltdowns, you know, just you know over simple things, you know, just if some, you know, if plans change like that, you know, or if you know, just things like that I've just it's really kind of thrown my routine out and you know what I'm doing now is you know just trying to reflect on that trying to help myself you know okay if something happens like that again you know how can I do that as well and in my Asperger's life what I have been doing since the start of this year is using a diary each day so in my diary I write you know I plan out sort of my week what is going to happen you know what am I doing today? Like so, I look at the list and say, okay, I've got that. Say, I've got classes today. I've got these things on, or I've got placement on, things like that. And I've got other things as well, including like, okay, I can we to do it list? These are the things that I need to get done today. So, I need to get the laundry done. I need to get these done, and and it's really helping me sort of structure as well, having that structure as well, and it's creating routine as well, and it's certainly helping myself with memory as well. Now, one of the things I know about my Asperger's is I do have some short-term memory loss where, you know, I, though I can remember loads and loads of useful things and I can remember a lot of my nursing things, it's just short-term memory. Like, okay, I need to go to the shops. I may have a list, but I may forget what was on the list sometimes. I may just lose track, you know, you know, of things, you know. But by having that routine, by writing things down, of like, okay, I need to have this, I need to do this, I need to buy these things, you know, these and whatnot. So by having that bit more of a routine, that structure has certainly been helping me each day. And I've certainly found that quite helpful, you know. So 
that's just a wee update what I've been doing recently. So I'm hoping to grow this vlog series over the next few months and we'll just see where this goes. So thank you for tuning in today and I hope you have enjoyed this vlog series. Please keep an eye out for my other vlog series where I'm doing a, a, on my nursing vlog. So please stay tuned for that. And please stay tuned for other content that I post on the channel as well. Particularly um, around Autism Awareness Week. It would be great to see how many people we can reach with these videos as well. I'm planning on doing one video per day at least on Autism Awareness Week on different topics. So it will be a good week and exciting one as well. So just to say thank you for tuning in today and if you have enjoyed today's vlog um, please give the video a like as it really supports the channel and please subscribe as well and don't forget to hit that notification button as well beside the subscribe button so it's a wee bell and if you click that it will notify you when I post new content on the channel and it, you'll be one of the first to be notified so please stay tuned and again from here at us at Stu Journey of a Student Nurse. It's been great to have you watching this video today and I hope you have a good night and I will see you in the next video.